Coach Friend, very good week for the Falcons, although I'm sure you look back on that first game against Boise State with uh, a little bit of anger. It was right there for the taking. Yeah, Brian, that first game was uh, was Heartache Hotel. We played the number one team in the conference with the leading goal scorer in the country. I thought we did a very good job neutralizing them. Uh, both teams had 11 shots, good even game. We get a PK, so you're right at the feeling of, hey, we might knock off the number one team in the conference. Mr. PK tried a second touch on the ball. Referee called that. We're trying to console each other. They put the ball down and play. Quick counterattack, 40 seconds later, we're down one nothing against the number one team in the conference, and the leading goal scorer got herself another goal. Yeah. But uh, they bounced back from that, and we had a tough situation having to go indoors. A lot of uh, positive call-outs to our department. You know, Jess Souza, Vicki Jemerson, Roger Gufferson, Colonel Baker was involved, George Nelson, Chris Sissery. Everybody got involved, made sure that we got the Holiday Athletic Center up to speed, looking clean and, and just sharp. And it, it ended up being a very nice event for our, our senior day. Yeah, a very nice event because you get the win against Nevada. <laughs> oh, one to nothing. Maybe you should move more games inside. Well, you know, we're trying a little bit of everything. Our goalkeeper got the assist uh, on that goal. Uh, she played it in, and Caitlin Cook was able to get a touch on it, and then Brianna Bezdek put it away. But all seven seniors have just been rising, uh, keeping the team together, telling them to, to battle on. We know we don't have a goal scorer. We, we, we've proven that through the season. Um, but our goals against average is, is about one a game. It's, it's .75 in conference, so we're a tough team to beat. But we also have to work very hard to try to find those wins. But all seven seniors, I'm just so proud of them. They're going to be great lieutenants in the Air Force. It was great seeing all their families there, and it was, it was a really nice event. Moving forward, you go on the road this week. Uh, what do you expect? Well, right now we're trying to expect the Cinderella story. Uh, we have to win out. It's do or die every game for us uh, to get the same points that we got last year and to fight for the last qualification spot. So New Mexico's playing very well. They have the most goals in the conference with 15, uh, and they're just a very athletic team. We'll be playing them in their place, which is always tough to do. San Diego has traditionally been the, the strongest team in the conference. They're a little bit young this year, uh, but they're still going to be a tough team to beat at their place. And then we finish up with Colorado College, which that in-town rivalry is, is uh, massive. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's either a snow fest or some other crazy thing going on where the game is won in the last few seconds. And, this year, I hope it's Air Force's turn. But despite the record, you have to feel good about your chances virtually in every game just because of your defense. Yeah, every game has been a winnable game for us. We could look back and, and we, we could win all 11 games in conference and we could lose all 11 games. The, the parity is phenomenal this year. Um, I'd say Boise is, is, is the best team in the conference. Uh, but, you know, it was a 1-0 game against us and, and it was a game we thought we could win. So I am very happy with the way we're playing and with the cohesion of the team and with the leadership from our senior class. Uh, it's just it's just going to be one of those hard seasons. Hopefully the Cinderella story just began. We'll see. We'll find out on the road this week. Good luck. We'll find out on Friday. <laughs>